Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use an IIFE, which is an immediately invoked function expression to create a module. An immediately invoked function expression is often used to group related functionality into a single object or module. For example, an earlier challenge defined two mixins. So here's a mixin. Remember that's one that adds a function to an object. And so we add an object of glide to this mixin. And then we have fly as well. And so we can use this mixin to add these um, functions to objects uh, with those things. So we can group these mixins into a module as follows. So here we can say the motion module is equal to a function in which we return uh, the glide mixin. So we're actually using the glide mixin. Oh no, we're defining it here. And then we're passing in an object and to that object we're giving it the function of glide. And then we're logging out gliding on the water. Same thing with the fly one. And um, as you can see this one is immediately invoked. These two, these, the parentheses at the end cause the function to be immediately invoked. Uh, so this is a, a bunch at once. Note that you have an immediately invoked function expression that returns an object motion module. This returns, retur this returned object contains all the mix in behaviors as properties of the object. The advantage of the module pattern is that all of the motion behaviors can be packaged into a single object that can then be used by other parts of your code. Here is an example using it. Uh, motion module, glide mixin. Um, so now, the okay, so we've cre we went to the motion module, which is this guy, and we're saying dot glide mixin. So we're passing in the function glide mixin. We return the function, and then this is a function which takes an object. So we put the duck into this object. So duck dot glide is equal to a function. So we're saying duck.glide is equal to the function where we console log out gliding on the water. So duck.glide will uh, console log out to, or it'll return a console log of gliding on the water. Uh, create a module named fun module to wrap the two mixins, is cute mixin and sing mixin. Fun module should return an object. Okay, great. So we really are just going to be copying this to a large degree. Um, we've got our mixins here. So first off, let's just start off let fun module. And um, let's see, to start that out, we want to set this equal to, we're going to create a module. Um, so we're going to say function. And the function is going to be called. Uh, we want to return the, let's see, the first one we want to start off is cute. Yeah. Um, is cute is equal to a function where we pass in an object. And then we say the object dot cute is equal to a function where we, what do we want it to say? Is cute mixin. So we want to say is cute mixin. The object dot cute should access a function should be defined and returned as an object. Okay, and so this is the first one. Um, let's say console.log fun module. Yes. I'm um, cute. Okay, so what are we doing here? If we were to pass, oh, actually, Oh, return true is what they want. Hmm. We can just return true as well. Um, so yeah, the next one, um, we've got this, we're returning. The first off, what we're going to do is look at it. This is a object, and we want to create a second object for our next mixin, which is a uh, fun module. Oh no, it's a sing mixin. And we're going to set this equal to the function, which takes in an object. And then the object dot, what do we say, fun? Object dot sing should access a function. So we want object dot sing to be equal to a function. We're going to set that equal to something like this. And 
uh, I guess we'll just copy this same thing that they've got up here. And since we have this, we can get rid of these mixins because they're no longer necessary. So we can say, oh, we don't even have an object to define this. Anyways, we could run the tests here to see if they pass. Okay, so fun modules should be defined and returned, return an object. Fun module. Fun module is equal to function return. Okay, and now the problem with this is that we need to immediately invoke this function, which means we need to create it so that motion module is on there. So right now, it's not being called. If we were going to type, well, type of fun module, what's that going to give us? Okay, so it's, it's a function right now, but what's the problem? We are not able to invoke it, so we need to do the invoking right here. And that's going to set it back. Now we're returning an object, and I think now the tests will pass. Um, yeah, in order to do this, we would have to come up with a constructor. Okay, anyways, this is the way that you, you can pass the test. This is the data. And now, if you care to learn a little bit more about this, I'm going to spend the next five minutes uh, creating a, a duck object, and we'll play with it and kind of walk through how these mixins are being passed in and given to the object. So first, we need to have the ability, so a uh, function of a uh, bird. This is equal to, and then we can have the bird has a name that we pass in, so... Um, we can say this dot name is equal to name. Now, um, if we were to say uh, big bird, so we're setting a variable of big bird equal to a, a new bird with the name big bird. Um, now, if we were to console log big bird we would see that the name is Big Bird. Now, if we were to say, run <clears throat> Big Bird dot sing, nothing would happen, right? Even though it's supposed to sing here. So, what we need to do is add the module, right? So, this is our fun module. So, fun module dot sing mix in so what we're doing here is we're adding the capacity to sing to big bird object model um big bird okay so now that we've allowed big bird the ability to sing we can just console log this again and see if it works now remember it didn't work up here nothing happened but if we do it down here it should sing oh so up here, the sing, we need to um, call the function. So bigbird.sing is not a function. So up here, it's not working. Now we'll call the function down here as well, but again, this is going to be our problem. So let's console, yeah, we um, comment out the sing up here so it doesn't create, um, when it's uncommented, we get a type error because the sing is not added there. But this fun module, which we ran, it returns the mixins, and then we've added the, to the, object which we're passing in which is big bird we're adding this sing function which is making it so that down here once we comment this out the big bird has he's singing is awesome singing to an awesome tune singing to an awesome tune so we've added the capacity for big bird to sing using a module and we needed to immediately invoke the module upon loading the page otherwise um we would still get a type error because we need to actually have run this before we um, call the mixin on a instance variable. Anyways, hope that helps you guys. Um, all of this stuff is just me trying to go into a greater depth. I'm pretty sure this is the only thing you need in order to pass the tests. And uh, that wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.